Welcome to Indian Masterminds. We have with us today a special guest, Mr. Vishnu Parasethi from Orissa. He is the Principal Secretary to the Government of Orissa. And other than us being a senior IS officer, he is a renowned poet. In fact, one of his books of poems has been included in the MA English course of University of Mumbai. So today we are going to speak to him about his books of poems. So when did you start writing poems? Yeah, I started writing poems when I was a child. Uh, then I was uh, studying in class 8 or 9. I think the first poem that I wrote uh, was in Odia. Later I started contributing to the college magazines and also sent my poems to various competitions. So that is how I started my journey of writing mm -hmm. poems. Okay, so were you as a child interested in poems, reading poems, reading poetry by other poets? Yes, uh, I think, you know, uh, the, the subject which interested me was uh, very much on literature. Though I was doing very well on math and other uh, subjects, but uh, the school teacher thought that I have a greater potential in literature. In fact, he was suggesting that I take literature while I go to the college and I also write civil services. Though I did not take literature when I moved to the college and later to the engineering college, but uh, my passion for literature uh, remained. You went to IIT. You were in yeah, IIT I Mumbai. I studied at uh, National Institute of Industry, National Institute of Technology, Rahul Kela. Then I went to that is now the what we call as IIM Bombay. That was National Institute of Industrial Engineering, Mumbai. Okay, okay. So uh, after coming to Mumbai, then you started preparing for your uh, civil service exam. That's right. I started uh, preparing for civil services. Uh, in fact, more seriously after I passed out from I am Mumbai. Now your uh, one of your books of poetry has been uh, included by the University of Mumbai in the MA English course. So can you tell us something about that book of yours? Yeah, the, I think, you know, that's very exciting news for me because what I started is a hobby. Uh, as a child, later on uh, it became a passion for me, whether it was in Masuri Academy or uh, subsequently. I, based on my real life experiences, what touched me, I would uh, pen down the poems. And uh, I published four volumes of English poetry, and uh, some of the books have been translated to other languages like Urdu, Odia. Uh, and you know, uh, you know, some of the volumes have been translated. So when I saw that you know Mumbai University has included one of my books uh, in the curriculum for the MA research program, it was really a very happy moment uh, for me. And the uh, title of the book is Beyond Here and Other Poems. It was published by Her Anand Publications, and uh, this poetry book was released in. 2021 by Honorable Chief Minister of Orissa and it has a uh, lot of poems relating to the pandemic period pandemic right and it has you know it has touched up on the life and how we are all affected by the gloom that descended uh, all, all on the earth and uh, we never knew whether uh, that you know those days would be over or not you know so many of those poems uh, has you know the touch of the reality as we had experienced melancholic yes so you are inspired what you want to say is basically you are, you are inspired by all the happenings that uh, during the pandemic people suffering migrant workers you know going through that ordeal of walking back home because i think there are several poems related only to the pandemic in this book basically if you still recollect uh, what was happening those days mm -hmm. i think the roads were very lonely the parks were lonely 
the market places were deserted the children were, were away like you mentioned in one of your poems children were not to be found outside playing there was no one to play in the ground the temples were closed and in one of the poems i have talked about an ancient tradition that i had encountered in my childhood day it is called lament singing like in those days when uh, you know the even an animal a domestic animal died there are uh, poetry you know written in the colloquial languages so women members should uh, recite on their own is a very long kind of poem people would read you know when uh, you know about the positive attributes of the animals and they would pray that you know the god should be kind that this animal goes to the other world and gets rebirth uh, with a good life and all that you know that's mm-hmm. called lament so when i talked about the scenario in the villages of a large uh, area where the dead bodies or carcasses used to be discarded vultures used to descend and those days were gone the, the lament singing the tradition is also gone but the pandemic uh, has become a time when there is no one to do a lament singing even now even then because the situation is so gloom, gloomy that the people uh, who are dying even the relatives are not touching them so there is so much of fear uh, people are not touching their own parents or own children in fact there were times when uh, relatives or family members were not allowed to go and cremate their loved ones that the is fear was so much even the fear was so much that one would not go and you know see the the dead uh, relatives for the fear of you know getting infected by such a uh, sorry, right such a, uh, this lament uh, lamenting which you were talk which you talked about in your one of your poems this i think is is, is it prevalent in orisha because i know it is prevalent in rajasthan because i remember seeing a movie once on this uh, lamenting staring the bilkabadia yeah lament singing is the tradition of the old world which is no more there mm. in fact the modernity uh, modernity having descended all over i think many of the traditions are gone uh, while well, i was a collector in a district called raigada uh, there is a tribe that i had come across their rich culture which uh, is called lanjia sora there is a hill called putta singhi on which they used to they inhabit as per the old tradition uh, the dead would be you know coming and interacting with the you know the alive there is a book by peter wetsky uh, wherein uh, he has mentioned vividly how the dead were having dialogue with the alive like there will be a priestess uh, who would preside over a function then the will the woman of the house would draw around some painting near the heart hmm. and the, the intermediary would you know uh initiate a dialogue between the departed soul and the relative for example if the child has died and her mother they will enter into a dialogue through the uh, intermediary the priestess of the village so uh, in the in the old world there used to be tradition and when the the this the the uh, the, uh, the world that we live in and the world where the dead live that could also be a community so lament singing was kind of a tradition when you know the, the elderly women the girls they would you know they you know, praise those you know departed animals and while they carry the body for burial or going uh, into the cremated grounds right so you have said that uh, your uh, poems are uh, mostly based on real life experiences the real life experiences uh, which mostly inspired me to compose the poem uh, whenever you know an event occurs in front of us i say that they are not just uh, blunt or blank you know uh, i wish to look for you know the causes the values of the morals the missing links like uh, uh, if death comes in front of us then it is just not an event you know? there are so many things which can i which you are covering there are uh, happenings which take place on other planets which stir somebody's imagination sentiments the feelings the consciousness 
and uh, it is not that all the time whenever i uh, can you know uh, i'm in a position to write one i do write but some of the moments definitely i okay what the people who have you know done some deeper study of my poem they have uh, stated that the poems are uh, in contrast to many other uh, the writers who write on a very abstract manner these poems are based on uh, real facts they are contemporary and they are very down to earth i normally focus on the real life events which are simply not uh, blunt or blank so whenever an event takes place it you know leaves us many missing links there are many questions one is tempted to probe into and uh, sometimes some of the happenings they really disturb our uh, imagination sentiments our uh, consciousness so sometimes i feel tempted to tempted to capture uh, these words and you know write down the poems okay so do you have a copy of your book with you right now can you show to our viewers yes this is the this is one poetry book beyond this here is, and other poems yes book got your feeling her one uh, mama sabda vishwa this but this is in sanskrit this sanskrit is, okay sanskrit this is another book uh, for my uh, word of my world of words this is one and the first book that i wrote was uh, this where shall i go where shall, where shall i go yes and the I... the where shall i book where shall i go is basically a kind of in a uh, confusion in the minds of a driver who is facing displacement due to a development project right i had a group of driver in ranchi okay they were questioning as to what has happened to them what government has done to them why are they being displaced time and again hmm. for the sake of development of the country okay. in this book like yeah. the motif you had that's a tribal motif right particular to that reason yeah it is the uh, motif uh, uh, this is basically a painting from the putasing hills uh, hills of gunpur what is it uh, called in, and this, that form of painting this is called edital edital okay. and this is basically you will find that a lot of events are being portrayed like the marriage the death the processions of various life events and all that right. so in one thing they draw they would uh, they will you know uh, they put the pictures of the dead as well as alive and through this kind of you know painting which is done near the heart the dead and the alive they inter 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 in, interact through an intermediary so this is called editari edital this is just not simply a painting but this is a medium through which they communicate with the dead with the dead all these books are available on uh, amazon amazon and any other sites yeah amazon and other related site and this is the urdu translation of words so i go and this is the, the my world of words this is called mo sabdara jagat translated into odia uh, odia language yes yeah. very nice so this is uh, so can you just show around a little bit that's fine okay. yes So all these books are written by you. Right? So that was Mr. Distu Badar Sethi talking about his books of poetry. Hope you enjoyed listening to him as much as we did. Thank you for watching Indian Masterminds.